So before we before we start, we're starting with an intention. And before every before every session, before every coming together, we have an intention. And the intention is important, if not more important than anything else, than anything that we do. Why? Because the intention is the spirit that holds the matter. The intention is our spiritual intention, our core intention for whatever th that we want to do, whether we speak, whether we say something. So the intention is very, is very crucial. And so what I have here is what I call intention cards. And I would like us to, uh, I'm going to spread them and I would like you to pick a card. The first card that you feel, not necessarily that you look at the card, but you can hover with your hand and, and to see which card calls you. Okay? I didn't tell you to flip it over, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. That's okay. No, you flip it over. Flip it over. So, uh, so what does the card say? What do you want to happen next? Uh-huh. Okay. So we have a question that many times our first, our default uh, way of explaining the question is to apply it to is to apply it to something that we that that we just went through or something that we are going through. How does this fit to something that is happening? Notice that how does it fit to something that is happening many times can happen on the outside. How does it fit to something that is happening on the outside? How does it fit to a decision I need to make? How does it fit? to something that is about to happen, it is external for me. But the question is a question, and the question is here to raise questions, is to trigger, is to, to, to poke your imagination, to poke the way that you are looking at something. The question can also be, do you want something to happen next? Is there something that you are not paying attention where you are now? There are, there are many ways to look at that. There are many ways to apply that. But really the most authentic place is when you feel the question after the first noise dissipates. Like what I want to happen next. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. We start from a certain level. And slowly we go, we go deeper. Once the noise kind of dissipated, we're going deeper into what is this here to trigger me? What in me do I need to pay attention to? And, do, and is that which I want to happen next, if there is something in that, where is that coming from? So this is, and again, many times this is not a, a right away question, but something to ponder about. But if you have something to share, well, share. it is about thinking in a one step ahead. Let's say I have some ideas or plans and everything, but what do you want to happen next? What there, um, what kind of results do you want to have? Mm -hmm. And it's, mm -hmm. let's say I'm like working hard on like career or something. What do you want to happen next afterwards? Like, do you want to have, um, do you really want to be the, everything that you have in your life or do you want to have something more or to, how do you want to balance it? balance your life out so so you're now in a in a place that you've put energy and time and everything that you have in a certain in your career path and you're and you're maybe waiting for something to happen to validate what you've been doing is that right uh, yes and also um yeah like how do you want to continue doing that? Well, like, what the next step, what the next level, like, what, because, yeah. And also a romantic path, like, what do you want to happen next after you, um, like, met this person or get, like, made some steps or had some chemistry or something? What do you want to happen next? Are you, like, mm -hmm. serious? Or is it just for fun? Like, mm -hmm. When you meet somebody, it is important to understand that we all meet through our wounds. We meet through our wounds. We recognize something in somebody that we are familiar with. And, and, we, get, and we are drawn to that. And so it is important to ask yourself, where 
are you when you met that person? What in that person attracted you? Okay. And, and, and at the end, what it, what it is that you want? Not what a person wants. What it is that you want? What do you want from this kind of connection? Do you, just, do you want to be connected? Do you want to just play around? But it's important to see where you are at and are you really comfortable with, with the place that you are at? Because many times when we meet somebody, uh, we bring our patterns into, the, into that connection and we also meet patterns with the other person. We are creating this, this living this pattern. So for example, if, if, if a, a, a somebody, let's say the woman, is, has been conditioned to be submissive, mm-hmm. all right? in the sense of that she was taking care of things, uh, she would be doing the cooking in the house, she would take care of the kids, she would, she would follow the path that was, uh, quote-unquote, destined for her through her family. Okay? Mm-hmm. And then she meets a person and she goes out to the world with that. That is how I am to be in a relationship. Okay? And they're, they're making it very generalized here. Okay? And then you meet somebody and then the, the person, the woman meets somebody who is on the other side. Who is used to make sure, who is used to that the woman in the relationship is taking care of everything and does this and does that and, and takes care of him and all these kind of, all she these kind of. taking care of Pandas or now she has to be taking care of. So for her, so, more. well, so, but here's the thing, it switches. Mm, it switches. It switches. So now the two met and he said, well, yeah, I love that she takes care of him. And she says, yeah, I love taking care of him, right? So it, it seems like it's, it's a fit. It seems like it's a glove. And it can be expressed in many, uh, in many aspects in, 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 in a relationship. In, in, in many aspects in a relationship. Okay? It could be in, in taking care. It could be in, in different aspects. It could be sexually. It could be in different, different places. And so you meet, the two people meet, and say, oh, wow, that's a match because I like this. I like this. It's a great match. But those are the wounds. Mm-hmm. So we bring... These patterns and these and these understandings from old stories, from the stories that came from our families and, and the people that we know, to a new connection, to a new relationship. And so, when you meet at first, and there is the uh, the physical attraction or there is the initial attraction, many times people want to build something based on that. Oh, um, I have the hots for you. I have the hots for you. Let's make a life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Many times this is not going to hold because that which was a, a, that the, the foundation of the connection was was something that is fickle, something that is not stable. that is not stable. And then after six months, after a year, after a few years, after two years, something like that, suddenly things are coming up that one would say, "Well, weren't they addressed at the beginning?" And you realize that they weren't. And you realize that they weren't, uh, just like a, a couple that I know that they start talking about how to raise the child only after they had a child, mm-hmm. as far as religion and as far as way of looking at things. And those are things that are, are important to have beforehand. And, and if you don't have them, if you don't have this open communication and, and talking about these things and what is important for you and what you want, then um, you may face um, some difficulties here and there. All right, but okay, but but you can have this uh, communication in beforehand. But yeah, well, what we were talking about from the very beginning, intention, intention, intention for like wh- where are you right now, and ask your par- partner where where is uh, his or her intention at the moment. Right, so what do you actually want? Well, there is a concept in Judaism which is called Melech, okay, which is king, which means um, Melech stands for Moach, Lev, Klayot, mm-hmm. mind, heart, kidneys. And there is, uh, and then there is, the, no, there is another verse, and I'll come back to this, there is another, another verse that says, Lo taturu achare levavchem v'achare enechem, that don't tour after your heart and your eyes comes from the word tourist 
A tourist comes to a new city, what does he do? He goes here, he goes there, he comes here, he comes out, doesn't know where he will come out, doesn't know what stores there are, just exploring, going with the flow, and da 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 da. That's the heart. And he says, don't run after your heart because your heart will take you in different places. It will go here, it will go there, it will go boom, 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 all these kind of places that will take you out of your focus into different places. And so Melech, the concept is mind over heart over kidneys. So, yes, see with the eyes of your heart. <laughs> yeah, so, so see with the eyes of your heart. Lead with the eyes of your heart. Come from the place of compassion. Come from the place of exception. Come uh, of accept, accept, accepting. Come from the place of kindness. But deploy your mind to see, is this good for you? Is this something that is going to benefit where you want to go? Or is this pulling you back to old patterns? Now, why heart over kidneys? Because kidneys and, and liver is where the sacral chakra is, is where all your desires, all your wants, all your needs, many wounds are stored there. Kidneys can sift through, can sift through the stuff that you need and stuff that you don't need. So, melech. Otherwise, if we go with our heart that controls our mind, it's lemech. It's like uh, somebody who is uh, here, once there, once there, once there. And somebody who goes through the kidneys, meaning that just by the desires, just by the wants, it's really going with the animalistic, uh, the animalistic desire without the thinking, is this good for me, without thinking, is it coming from a pattern, just, oh, I feel I go, I feel I do. Many people call it, oh, I'm in the flow, you know. But what is really to be in the flow? What it is to be in the flow? The f there is the, the physical flow and there is the essence flow. There is the physical flow that is stored in the kidneys and in the liver, that I can say, okay, I see this, I'm going. Mm. Not thinking, oh, right, left. there is a car coming up, I don't know, I see. I see something in the middle of the road, I'm going. I don't look left, right, see if there are cars, there is green light, I'm going. So that's animalistic. So if I'm starting with the kidneys, controlling the heart, controlling the mind, it's klum. Mm -hmm. It is nothing. If I go with my heart, controlling my mind, controlling my kidneys, it's lame. It's like an empty can that is on the seashore that moves from one wave to the other. But to be a king is letting your mind oversee what your heart sees and deciding is this good for you or not good for you. For whatever purpose and condition that you have, whatever goal that you have, even the goal is to assess and to see where is that goal coming from. So when you talk about if you bring this back to career, if you look at this as a means to bring you somewhere, then you know that this is a means to bring you somewhere. And it's not ending with this. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you look at this, that this is all you do, that this is what you're going to do here, and this is not, and this is not, this as, as a subject is not a great interest for you, then you're going to be miserable because you're going to beat yourself up for doing something that you don't want. Mm -hmm. And if you look at what you're doing now as a means to get what you want, then your perception shifts. And then you are treating this just what it is. It's not the core. It's just a tool that I'm using. And on the way, you will learn a lot of things. Of course, the goal is that you trust yourself enough to be doing exactly which, that which you want to do. And to trust and to do the things, to do the effort that brings your skill to a place where you can monetize it and you can do work from it and expand from it and learn from that as well. So the intention, yes, of course, the intention is super important, if not the most important, because the intention is going to direct where the boat is going to float. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, darling.